Hello, welcome to this tutorial. We will continue with the elements. The first element today is a testimonial. But before adding the testimonial element, I'm gonna do some customization of the row. Just to show how simple it is to, to configure your row to your requirements. Let's add the testimonial. As you can see, some pre-created testimonials will appear. Here I'm going to activate the carousel navigation because we are going to add other testimonial. On this icon that is located to the right bottom, you can edit the testimonial entry options. On the plus icon, you can add a new testimonial, as I'm doing here. I'm going to name the testimonial on title. Leave the status published. You can also choose a featured image. And open editor to write the content of the testimonial. You can also add short codes here. Let's save and publish. Now let's go back to testimonial options to activate the carousel dots. And now the new testimonial will appear. If you have more than one testimonial, you should activate the carousel to make them visible. Before going on the other options of testimonial, let's show how to add a new testimonial from the theme options. Let's go to testimonial and add a new one, clicking on the plus icon and search for the existing testimonial. Here I'm adding another one. I'm choosing a featured image from Media Library. Open the editor, write the content and save and publish. The new testimonial will also appear here. Let's go to the page and see the new entry that we add. You can order the testimonial entries by post ID, author, title, name, date and modifying options and choose if you want to display them on the ascending or descending mode. To add the categories of the testimonial entries, you should go to Dashboard. Let's go to Dashboard, Testimonials, Add New Testimonial. You can also add the testimonials here, of course. Publish. And let's add the testimonial categories. Click Add New Category. Let's go back to existing testimonials. And here you can include them to the categories that you created. You can also add a new one here and choose if you want to make the new one the parent category or if you want to make the new one inherit the style of another category. Here I've created the possible options and you can see all the categories that you created on testimonial categories. So, done with this element, let's go to another one. Here I'm adding the row. I'm going to section it by adding uh, a custom value. And let's move on to progress bar element. The progress bar element is a great way to show the statistics to your visitors. And now you can make them more interactive. You can drag to adjust the percentage, add a progress bar color, you can add an animation effect, and adjust the margin, border and paddings. Here I'm customizing some of the design options of the column. 
just to show how many possibilities you have to configure a single element. If you click on this arrow icon on the progress bar options, you will see some other ones that include the cloning of the element, copy the style, paste the style, and delete the element. Here I'm cloning the progress bar element. It will appear below the existing one, and you can change the text of the element clicking on it. Here I'm customizing the options of the new progress bar. And let's move on to the counter element. I'm going to add this element to another column. Its options are quite easy and simple. You just need to add the number of the counter that you want to display. Choose the animation duration on milliseconds. And make sure to always save and publish the changes that you make. You can choose the align of the counter element and of course adjust the margin, border and paddings. If you want to change some other design options about the element, you can go to theme options, styling options. There is a more short way to go there by clicking on global styling that is included on every page. So if you want to change the color of the counter element, you should change the primary accent color. But be careful because this is going to change the primary color on every page. This will ensure that each element of the theme will be adapted to the theme default design. Here I'm adding the text element below the counter. I'm doing some customization of the text element. And let's move on to contact form. So let's add a contact form element on a new row and see some of its options. For the contact form to be displayed, you should choose a pre-created one or create your own here. So go to select form and choose one of the pre-created contact forms. If you want to create a new one, you should go to dashboard and there you can start. Here I'm going to add a text above the contact form. And let's go back to its options. So let's assume that you want to create your own contact form. Let's click here. You will be directed to dashboard. On dashboard, click contact, add a new one. And here you can manage the form, mail messages and additional settings of the contact form. Let's add the title, save, go back to our page, save again, refresh the page if needed, and now the new contact form will appear here. You can also choose a style to the contact form. The existing options are simple vertical and simple dark. If you want to customize it by yourself, you can add your custom style in CSS. And of course, you can adjust the margin, border and paddings. And this is all we had for today. We will continue to explain the other elements on the other tutorial after this. Hope you enjoyed it and have a good day.